Hi guys. So today's video is going to be kind of a story time slash like trans related video. So I'm kind of meshing both of the categories that I do on my channel into one. And today's video is going to be, he did not know I was trans. I don't recommend this, okay? Like learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, that's like so crucial. Okay, let's get started. So this all took place probably like a year and a half ago, maybe. And I used to work at Subway. I worked at a very, very slow location and only one person work at a time. So I would work long shifts by myself, eight hour shifts alone all day long. So I would always see the same people every day. They knew me, I knew them, I knew their orders. I knew, you know, where they worked. Like we would just talk and every single day almost this man from FedEx would come in and he would deliver our packages and he would deliver our paychecks and packages and mail and whatever the fuck that FedEx people deliver. Not only would he deliver it, but he would always, always, always get a salad from me. And I knew as soon as I saw the FedEx truck pull up, like to get the bowl out and I would just prep for him, you know, and we would always talk. And I thought for the longest time that he was flirting with me, but I just could not tell. I just couldn't tell because sometimes I don't know if a guy's flirting or if a guy's just being nice or what it is. I don't know if he can tell if I'm trans. I don't know if he just has no idea. Like I just never know. So I just always assume they're just being a friendly guy. He comes in every single day to get a sub or a salad. He's probably just being friendly. Like that's what fucking people do on the day to day basis when you go somewhere as a regular. So things like started to progress and he would try and talk to me more and more and more. And then like after he was done eating, he would always make sure to come up and say like goodbye and would just definitely like flirt. And then I was like, okay, like he's definitely flirting with me. So then I kind of like fed into it a little bit and I would like flirt back with him, of course. It got to the point where he finally one day ate his salad, but just stood there and talked to me for like a good 10 minutes. And we were just talking back and forth and things were really, really good. And then he decides to ask me out on a date and ask for my phone number. So I give him my phone number and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll go on a date, like text me, like we'll figure it out. You know, a lot of guys will hit on me. A lot of guys will flirt with me if I'm going out to a bar or a club. Even guys like fucking yell shit across like the gas station parking lot. Guys say stuff in grocery stores. Guys say like they have no fucking chill. You know what I mean? It's like, do not scream at me from goddamn fucking across the parking lot. When I'm pumping my gas, I'm scared. Leave me alone. You're going to like run away and take me away. Like, this was a very different situation though. We had talked to each other so many times, like he was there every single day. So in my head, I had assumed that he knew that I was trans because that's just what I assumed. I don't know why I assumed that, but I did. We start texting, we're talking, we're trying to figure out a plan. And you know, he still comes in every single day to get his salads. And so we finally decide on a day that's gonna work and a night that's gonna work. And we decide that we are going to go to a movie. So I was like, okay, a movie's perfect. We've never hung out outside of like my fucking subway. And I was like, okay, we go to a movie. We can talk before the movie. We can watch the movie in silence, obviously. And then chat after the movie. It's the perfect first date for somebody that I don't really like know all that well. We end up going to Fifty Shades of gray or like 50 shades of grayer 50 shades darker i don't know the fucking second movie in the series bitch that one that's the one we went to and i didn't even see the first one i don't know it was just kind of like a weird movie to go to on a first date sexy but like kind of weird so it was fine i was excited i wanted to see it and i was like well i didn't see the first one but i feel like i can catch along you know what i mean like i can pick up what's going on so i go to his house and i pull up to his house Oh, and he didn't even live that far from the subway that I worked at. And I pulled up to his house and we're meeting up. I go up to the door, little hugs, little like, hey, how are you? Like, how was your day? Whatever, whatever. And so then we're like, okay, well, like, let's go to the movie. Because the movie was actually kind of far away. It was like a good, like, 20 minutes away from where we were. Because there was one particular movie theater we wanted to go to. We drive 20 minutes to the movie theater. We're chatting. It's good. Obviously, he drove. My car's at his house. I'm obviously not going to fucking drive on a date. What? Um, and if you are driving on a date, why doesn't he have a car and why isn't he driving? I just don't know. I'm, I'm just fucking playing, okay? Don't fucking come for me. 
So we get to the movie theater, things are good, we're going inside, and like the movie theater we were at had like the big like recliner, like seat things, you know, and like the thing comes up. So we're kind of like, not like cuddling, because I feel like that's really gross for like PDA, but like we're like close. And the movie goes good, and then after we're talking about the movie, and then I was like, yeah, I didn't even see the first one. He's like, well then why would we go see the second one? I was like, well, I got the fucking plot. I'm not a dumb bitch. Like I know what was going on. He was like, oh, haha. -ha. And I think he had seen the first one. I don't really remember. Then we go back to his place and he's like, oh, like, do you want to come inside? And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, why would I not want to come inside? So we go inside and it was like kind of weird because he was like in between houses. I don't even know. And like his family like lived there, but his family wasn't there. But like he was in the process of buying a house. Like, I don't really know. It was just kind of like weird to me. I was like, okay, wait, so like you live here, but like this isn't your house, but like you're buying a house, but like, Where's your family? You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know. Sorry, I keep like looking out the fucking window because I'm sitting in front of a window and it is snowing outside and it looks so fucking beautiful. It looks so beautiful. Fucking cutting that out, that was stupid. Oh, we're in the house, we're hanging out, we're like sitting on the couch, just kind of like chatting. And the next thing you know, he starts getting handsy and he starts trying to like, whatever, we're kissing or whatever it is. He starts to get a little bit more handsy, like aggressive in a way. Not, like, aggressive, like, towards me, but just being more, like, handsy and, like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, hands wandering more places. But I, at this point, was, like, I don't know what to do. Because, like, at this point, I hadn't told him that I was trans. I assumed that he knew that I was trans. But I was very scared. I was, like, okay, what if he doesn't know that I'm trans? Like, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Like, this is really scary. Like, this is really dangerous. I'm in a house alone with a man that I barely know and he doesn't know that I'm trans so like what the fuck am I gonna do I was into him I really was but I was like I gotta go home I'm so sorry like I have to leave I have to leave I basically just got up and he's like oh is everything okay and I was like yeah it's fine but like I just I gotta go home I'm really sorry like this just isn't like my vibe and so I pick up my stuff and I start walking out and he's like, okay, like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Like, I'm so sorry, like, bye. And he basically get in my car and I leave. And then probably like an hour later, he's texting me. Being like, oh, like, I hope you had fun. Like, is everything okay, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, no, everything was good. I actually like really vibed with you and I got along really well with you, but I am trans. I basically told him after the date, I texted it to him. And he was like, oh, like, I've never experienced that. Like, I'm very open to that. Like, you shouldn't have ran out. Like, you could have told me. And he was really receptive to it. But from then on, I just wasn't feeling it at that point. I don't know why I wasn't feeling it, but I wasn't. And then I never saw him again. Also, he definitely picked up my, my vibe because I stopped answering texts and stuff. Which therefore made it very awkward when he delivered our FedEx packages where I worked. Really set yourself up for failure there, didn't you, girl? Yeah, I did. Basically, what the moral of the story is, there's so many different ways I could have handled this situation, okay? One, I could have told him prior to the date that I was trans and what was going on. The reason that I say that is because sometimes you never know how someone's going to react. You don't want them to think it's false advertisement. You don't want them to think that you're tricking them or you don't want them to think whatever it is because it can lead to a dangerous situation for yourself. So I could have told him before, you know, I could have not been sitting on a couch with him getting handsy and all that stuff because who knows what could have happened. And also it wasn't really necessarily safe for me to be in a house alone with a grown ass man that didn't know my situation because what if something happened and he did figure out the situation and was really upset and you know physically hurt me which is a very real reality for a lot of trans girls out there and it happens to trans girls every single day where you know men get upset about that kind of stuff so i just think that it's so important to handle it differently i mean i think it was appropriate that i just picked up my stuff and i left before things escalated because that kept me safe i don't think in that situation he would have acted out like that but you just never know someone's character and you never know how things can switch when they figure out something like that so or you tell them something like that so i just ultimately think that it's super super necessary to be safe with it 